first about the electron reaction you can see here that we use the tin chloride solution and also the diluted hydrochloric acid solution move on to the next part about the material of construction so I you can see here that I've got a picture of a cell in this process and I've list down the material that we have in this uh, cell next the solution composition the main solution composition of this cell include hydrochloric acid and tin chloride this technology provide an optimum condition for achieving high current efficiency and stability in the in an expensive dilute HCl tin chloride electrolyte. Alright, the cell design and operating parameters. So we can see here this is the look of the cell design that I've mentioned the material of construction before. parameters in order to eliminate the danger of short circuit the perceived plate covers the complete cross-section of the electrolyte bath the production of metals by electrolyte electrolytic procedures converts the value of the used electric energy into the value of produced metals readily stock pill In this process, the impurities are at relatively low level. The purity of the tin mineral deposited and periodically compressed at the surface of the cathode is relatively high. The former feature eliminates and traps impurities, and the latter condition does not allow the formation of sharply preferential deposition site causing the se uh, severe depletion of tin ions in their vicinity and harmful diffusion polarization. The application of the period cathode compression technology may finally enhance the purity of the product of the cathode. Next is the position of current efficiency. The effect of hydrochloric solution composition Increasing the starting tin concentration reduces the overall current efficiency significantly. The hydrochloric acid concentration and the age of electrolyte solution, although in a small degree, but increase the current efficiency in the average of all the settings. The strongest cross effect is created by the tin concentration and the age of the solution. Higher tin concentration, increasing the hydrochloric acid concentration, reduces the current efficiency more drastically. Hydrochloric acid plays an, an important role in solubilizing the, the redissolved species. The effect of the temperature and current density. The concentration of tin in the fresh solution can be higher, which resulted lower overall current efficiency according to the metal redissolution. The sharp increase of the current efficiency with increasing apparent current densities is a result of the higher rate deposition more outweighing the tendency of real dissolution caused by the presence of tin ions. During subsequent electro electrolysis, tin, tin arising from the oxidizing effect by dissolved oxygen and by the anode can cause cathode corrosion. Besides of relatively low chemical effect of the acid. Therefore, the current efficiency curves of real solution runs regularly higher than those of the fresh solutions. This is the electrowinning of copper. The electrowinning cathode reaction is the same as for electro refining. The anode reaction is however completely different. Water is decomposed at the inner anode to form oxygen gas and release protons. The overall electrowinning reaction is the sum of reactions and in the presence of fluoride ions. The electrowinning products are 
few copper metal at the cathode, oxygen gas at the anode, and a regenerated chloride acid in the electrolyte. The material construction at the cathodes, most copper electro within 10 house today employ reusable 316 liter stainless steel blank cathodes, virtually identical to electro refining cathodes. This is known as permanent cathode analogy. Plastic edge strips are used on the sides of the cathode blanks to avoid plating around the sides of the cathodes. The bottom of the blanks are either wet stiff or have a V groove to allow for easy removal of the plated copper. The size of the cathodes is determined by industry standards and by the openings in the furnace in which copper will be renewed. At the anode, modern copper electronic anodes are cold road lead alloy with 1.35% tin and 0.07 to 0.08% calcium. Tin provides strength corrosion resistance and corrosion layer conductivity. Calcium improves the mechanical properties and decreases the anode potential. Lead is then electrode deposited around the joints to protect them from corrosion. For the solution composition, chloride ions are either naturally present in the electrolyte or are sometimes added as hydrochloric acid. They promote the growth of tanks, fine grain, low impurity copper deposits on the cathode. With stainless steel of cathodes, the chloride ion concentration must be kept below 30 mg per litre to avoid pitting corrosion at the top of the stainless steel bed at the electrolyte air interface, which causes the depositing copper to stick and resist detachment. So, I will continue the presentation. I will talk about cell design. This is the design of the cell. Okay, the design of the cell is different from electro refining as it mainly uses inner plumb of alloy instead of soluble copper anodes and its higher applied of voltage. Okay, so the polymer concrete is used for the cell construction to withstand the adverse operating condition. Larger electrodes, longer cells, automation, and higher current densities provide better capital effective designs. Cathodes can be either be made of stainless steel or copper starter sheets. The cathodes must have to be cleaned from grease and other organics to reduce the risk of pre stripping. So, effect of impurities. As we know, electromining is highly sensitive towards the impurities in the electrolyte. If there is a presence of impurities, it will affect the metal recovery in the electro-winning process. So, iron is the major impurities that can present in the electrolyte. It can present as ferrous or ferric. This iron will consume electricity and can have a detrimental effect on the current efficiency. Okay, some elements such as calcium can be added as the impurities as it can provide strength to the and not allow it since plumber is soft and it could fail or creep under its own weight. So what are the effects of addition agent on deposit morphology and deposition current efficiency? So organic additive commonly used as leveling and brightening agent in copper electromining as it can affect the morphology of copper deposit and current efficiency. The addition of additive improves the morphology of copper deposit in which it will become brighter and smoother in the quality. It can also prevent the corrosion of the plumbum knot. Oxidized organics can reduce kinetics and form scrub. Cobalt can reduce both corrosion rates and the over potential required for oxygen revolution. So let's continue on electrominate of zinc. Okay, so this is the overall selection for zinc electrominate. Okay. Zinc chloride will react with water and will form zinc oxygen and acid hydrochloric. At a knot, this is the reaction. So, uh, zinc plus will receive electron and will form zinc, while H plus will receive electron and will form hydrogen gas. So, at the cathode, uh, Water will form oxygen, H plus, and electron. So this is the overall main reaction. Okay, so I I will pass the presentation to Shazmi. Okay. Next, 
I would like to explain about the materials of construction. Anodes was made of from PPAG anodes. Anodes are conditioned to form a stable outside layer that can evolve O2 without excessive PB contamination of the cathode and, main, M, and MNO2 precipitation. Cathodes made of from aluminium. Zinc depositions on the cathode of aluminium. It has a strong influence on corrosion resistance. A common material used for cell construction is polymer concrete to withstand the arduous operating condition. Next is solution composition. The electrolyte was prepared from the reaction grade zinc chloride and had the average analysis shown below. For some tests, the total chloride ion concentration was varied to, four to four molarity by the addition of an ACL. Next is cell design and operating parameter. The cell was made of 0.6 cm polycarbonate sheet and had a total size of 8.4 cm long, 7.9 cm wide, and 12.4 cm high. The cell consists of three compartments. The first one is two anode compartments. The second one is one cathode compartments. And the last one is Daniel closed diaphragms. Daniel closed diaphragms is to separate the cathode and anode compartments. Next is the effect of impurities. Zinc electrowinning is vulnerable to impurities such as cobalt and nickel. The cathodic columbic quality is impaired by impurities. The electrolyte is purified to minimize these impurities. The order of the impurity effect on zinc electrowinning is stated just in the slide. This is to determine its effect on the zinc current efficiency or changes in the surface morphology. Any metal with a higher reduction potential than zinc is proficiently reduced to zinc but the primary effect of these impurities is the consequent enhancement of H2 evolution on the cathode, reducing the current efficiency. The last one is the effect of addition agent on deposit morphology and deposition current efficiency. Common additive is animal glue, produce a pronounced 10 one orientation of deposit. The next one is calm Arabic. It causes more random type of orientations. The resultant electrode has a smooth surface with this additive in the electrolyte. With a growth in the volume of addition, the grain size usually decreases. With increased glue or calm Arabic volumes, the present performance even decreases. The last one is Na2SiO3. It causes strong 10 2 and 10 3 orientation. This was similar to the orientation to our deposit prepared to pure solutions. This cathode this was prepared in an electrolyte containing 50 mg L Na2SiO3. The current efficiency was independent of the amount of the addition. Thank you.